Hi, I'm Jeff Bear with Bear Necessities, and I've got a question for you. Does asking for referrals ever feel awkward? Almost like something you can't figure out how to bring up in a way that feels natural and comfortable. All right, so you're happy with our agency's services so far, right? Yeah, everything's been great, really great. Good, good. Then you'll tell everyone about the good customer experience you had, right? Well, okay, uh, I don't really talk to my friends and family about insurance a lot. All right, well, beating around the bush is obviously not working with you, let me be frank. I have sales goals to meet. What I need you to do is to write down all of your friends and family on this piece of paper in alphabetical order, right now. Yikes, not okay. Look, we all know referrals are important for a successful business. And agents agree that their current number one source for new business is usually referrals. But sometimes it might feel too uncomfortable. No one wants to come off as pushy or irritating to their customers, right? Maybe you've resigned and never asking. If they have a good experience, customers will magically pass along their recommendations through word of mouth, won't they? The answer is maybe. You never know, but people are much more likely to talk about a negative experience than a positive one. When you have happy customers, it's not that they don't want to help you out. It's just that they're busy and aren't focused on helping you grow your business and get more customers. That's why it's so important to ask. How can we make asking for referrals easier, more comfortable, and more effective? Here are six tips for getting more referrals. The first tip is simple. Walk all of your customers through your product list. If you don't already have one, create an everything we sell sheet and take time to guide your customers through it. This is an easy way to make your customers more aware of what you offer. Even if Katie, your property customer, doesn't need motorcycle insurance, her Uncle George might. The next time Uncle George mentions that he needs motorcycle insurance, Katie will know where to send him. Next, create a referral rewards program. People love free stuff, so roll out the incentives. Establish a program that rewards customers for referring others to your agency. For every referral, you can give your customers a small gift, gift card, or even make a charitable donation to a local nonprofit. Exciting incentives like this could turn your loyal customers into brand advocates. Just be sure to check your state laws for any restrictions. Another idea is to create referral cards. What's a referral card, you ask? Basically, it's like a business card that you share with your customers. But in addition to your agency's contact information, it also includes a referred by space for your customer to write their name in. Customers can give the card to others, and when new prospects come into your office with a referral card, you can reward the customer who got you that referral. This could be a great addition to your rewards program, or you can use them separately. Overall, it's a helpful tool that makes referring others a little easier for your customers. The fourth tip is to go forth and make connections in your community. It's all about three words, mutually beneficial relationships. Build relationships with other local professionals who might refer your services. Go to networking events, trade shows, and other local opportunities. Make sure you bring extra business cards. It will be easier for your new strategic partners to pass around your name and contact information that way. Next tip, always have good, wait for it, timing. What you ask and how you ask is important, but another incredibly important part of effective communication is knowing when to ask. So when should you ask and when shouldn't you ask for referrals? There are certain sensitive times, like during billing or the beginning of a claim, when the odds just aren't in your favor. Wait to pop the referral question during a positive interaction when you know the customer is feeling happy, optimistic, and wowed by your excellent customer service. I also suggest asking for referrals when you re-face to face with the customer. It's still acceptable to ask by email or phone call, but people will be more likely to do something if you're right there with them asking in person. My last bit of advice is to be persistent as you invest in your current customers. Continue to build stronger customer relationships. Show that you care by checking in to see if they have any questions and focusing on delivering a better insurance experience. This extra effort will make your customers more satisfied with your service and more loyal to your agency. And loyal customers are the ones who advocate for you and deliver referrals. To get more comfortable with asking for referrals, I encourage you to just keep trying. It won't work immediately every time, but you have to plant the seed before you can reap the benefits. If you continue to introduce the idea of referrals to your customers over time, they'll be more likely to take action and start referring. With all that said, if you could refer other people in your agency to bare necessities, uh, that would be great. Thanks for joining me for another episode, and remember to email me your questions at askjeff at and see you next time.